stop looking at my things. Oh, look. Okay. Who's this? Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Close. Queen Victoria. Oh, <laughs> good. What is that? It's a tea cozy. It was crocheted for me by my dear mum while she was in prison. Your mother was in the slammer? Yeah, didn't I tell you? No, you didn't tell me. What did mom do time for? Which time? Any time. Oh, social issues mostly. You know, women's rights. Uh -huh. She was an activist. Spunky lady. You would have loved her. Oh, I'll bet. She would have loved you. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, look. My bird. I always loved waking up seeing my bird. Could we try hanging it on the wall? Oh, sure. Good. Yeah, let me get it. Thanks. Wait a minute. Right. You got it? Yep. That's a bird? <laughs> yes, a French bird. Uh-huh. Funny, it looked better in California. I guess it was the white walls. I love white walls. Really? You don't? No. Oh, reminds me too much of a dentist's office. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, I've always thought a bright, cheery room was so serene and, you know, charming. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. I always like dark. It's warm, cozy. Makes you want to cuddle under the blankets and stay in bed all day. Oh, I could never stay in bed all day. Well, no, I could. With you. I keep trying to imagine this room all bright and cheery and new. New? Well, not new, new, but, you know, new. Gee, I always like this room. Well, I agree. It's a perfectly charming room. Yeah. But for someone else, right? No, no, Sam, I sure. didn't say Sure, come that. on, Julie. Don't, don't worry about sparing my No, feet. forget I ever said any such... No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is your room, too. You know, I'll tell you what. We'll change it. I want to change it. Really? Really, absolutely. We'll have the lightest, brightest, airiest room in Iowa. We'll paint, we'll get new curtains, maybe a couple of floodlights. Oh, new curtains would be nice. New curtains would be very nice. Mm. We'll, uh, we'll carpet, wall to wall. Maybe get a new armoire. Uh, you could have a dark armoire no, if you like. I want it light and bright. Maybe even get a new quilt. Light up the bed. The bed. Well, we can't get rid of the bed. No, right. Of course we can't. Uh, you know, I love this bed. I, mean, I found this myself at an auction all by myself. Ah. Are you saying you want to get rid of the bed? No, Sam, I'm sure I will grow to love it. You hate the bed? Yeah. No, I don't you hate, hate bed. this bed. I do. Hi, guys. But did it ever occur to you to knock? Sorry. What's up? You know how I wanted my own phone in my own room and I didn't get it? I have the feeling we're about to be calm. Mm, get to the point, Adam. <laughs> what I want now is very reasonable. It'll only cost you 20 bucks. 10 to get my ear pierced and 10 for the earring. What? What do you think, Dad? I think one hole in your head is enough. That's what I think. Jules. <sighs> Sam, kids these days I know are doing it, but oh, Adam, on the other hand, I really... No one's ever on my side. That's not true. Why do I feel like I'm losing control? Oh, hush, you're not losing anything. Sam, about this bed. Oh, just do it. Are we going out to eat or what? Ten seconds. <laughs> just give me one good reason why we should get rid of this bed. It's too narrow. Well, all the better to get closer to my dear. Oh, it's mm. awfully Baroque. Well, what do you say in Iowa? If it's Baroque, fix it. <laughs> now, come on, one good reason. One good reason. Oh, Sam, I, this is really foolish. It's the bed you shared with your wife. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It never even occurred to me. You, you couldn't know. No, of course I could have. I should have. It's just insensitive. I'll tell you what, tomorrow we are going out and buying a new bed 
and we're gonna stay in it for a week to break it in. How's Looks that? for me. Bernie, you look lovely. Thanks, Mrs. M. You know me. I'm partial to chiffon. Oh, yes. A special evening? Hot date with a butcher who rear-ended me in the supermarket. Oh. Oh. Is your car okay? Who said anything about a car? Ready to eat? I am. I'm starved. Where's Allie? Oh. Allie! I'm on the phone! Well, come on, honey. Why, Bernie, is this... Love the earring yours? Huh? Oh, it's time for the earring pitch. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Willis, Geraldo, Sly Stallone, they've all got one. It's hip, it's in, it's happening, it's now. You owe me five days of doing the dishes. Only if Dad says yes and we get an earring. Dad says no. Darling? Hmm? Look at this bedroom. Isn't it stunning? I don't know. It looks a little frou-frou to me. Really? <laughs> Bernie? We're thinking of redecorating the bedroom. What do you think? Oh, I like the way the bedroom is now. Except, of course, for the bed. What's wrong with the bed? Oh, it's a pain in the butt to make. I mean, first you gotta put the sheets on, then you gotta walk around and tuck them in, then you put the blanket on, you gotta walk all the way around and tuck that in. You have to do that with every bed, Bertie. Well, I know, but this one's ugly. <laughs> well, I'm off. Wish me luck. No. <laughs> have a good time. I'll do my part. The rest is up to the butcher. <laughs> I called the Good Hope Charities to come and collect the bed. What bed? We're redecorating the bedroom, your father and I. Isn't it exciting? My mother slept in that bed. Yeah, I know, honey, but... Uh... She loved that bed. How can you just throw it out? Maybe we should keep the bed. <laughs> Maybe we should eat. Why does everything have to change? Because that's life, darling. We don't have to get rid of the bed. I mean, there are lots of other rooms in this house. Why don't we find another place for the bed? I don't want it. I like it where it is. I'm used to it. Haven't you ever changed a room? Hmm? It seems to me you uh, changed a Madonna poster for a Paula Abdul just last week. Well, Madonna's old. Paula Abdul's more me. Well, exactly. And I'd like our bedroom to be just a little more me. Can you understand? I guess. I just kind of like everything the way it is. Then how about we don't change anything else for a while? And if someday we do, then we do it together here, as a family. Here, here. Okay, I can live with that. Me too. Now, come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. What about Dog? Can we leave a light on for him? He, he's a dog. He doesn't need a light. All right, all right. Get a light. He needs TV, too? He loves Peter Jennings. Well, why don't we just fetch him his pipe and his slippers? Oh, come on, let's go. Bye, Doc. Watch the house, Doc. Oh, go on, go we on. We interrupt this program for a news update. Hello, everybody. This is Dickie Duncan with another news update. There have been three more robberies today in the greater Sioux City area. At present, no suspects have been apprehended and no identifications have been made. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program. Hey, you have a key? Yeah, right here. Hey, there's something wrong here. I know I left the light on. And the TV. Well, maybe we've blown a fuse or something. Dog? Hello. Oh, my God! Oh, oh my God. They cleaned us out. Wait, dog? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dog? Oh, oh my God. God, sweetie. The, 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 the drawer with the secret desk is gone with the papers, the mother's jewelry, everything. Oh, my God. Dog, dog, daddy, they took my dog. Oh, my God. Careful, careful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kids, get back in here. Well, maybe dog's hiding in the bushes or something. Dog? The whole house is gone. <laughs> dog's gone, and we never even took the time to name him. Well, this feels like something that should be happening to somebody else. Mm. Well, look at it this way. At least we didn't come in and surprise him. You have to be thankful for that. Where are the cops? What is it, two for one at Dickie's Donuts? <laughs> it's only 20 seconds since we phoned, darling. Well... 
I'm going to go up there and see if they've taken anything else. No, Sam. Don't do that. Somebody could be up there. Honey, the burglars are long gone. If there was anyone up there, we would have heard them. Right, let's go. Now, you touch. Toots? Somebody's got to watch the kids. Sam, I just Stay don't... here, okay? Well, do, don't you have a baseball bat or something? Not anymore. Dad! Dad, look what I found. You think it's a clue? I think it's a wooden spoon. <laughs> take it, take it. Oh, great. This will really protect me. If I run into a burglar, I can mix him to death. I'm going. Control yourself. You've just been robbed. <laughs> they, they left a note, I think. Oh, yeah, hey, Ali, I read it. I can't see what it says. Dear folks, we left the bed because we didn't want you to sleep on the floor. Oh. Besides, we'd never be able to unload it. This is one ugly bed. <laughs> Get out of here. Maybe it's dog. Take, take her again. I don't think he's that house broken. <laughs> stay, stay right there. entered the McGuire slash Carlisle home over there, through the dining room window. It, on me, stay on me. <laughs> After taking everything, and I do mean everything, the burglars were surprised by the McGuire slash Carlisle housekeeper, Miss Bernice Farrell, who was being dropped off by her gentleman friend, a local plumber. Oh, butcher. He's a butcher. Whatever. Cut it, cut. Hey, Dad, did you notice Officer Capsie's ear? Lieutenant Kafka. Uh, I'll give you a break. We've just been robbed. Sorry. What can I tell you? The chicks love it. <laughs> oh, Miss Farrell. Excuse me, Miss Farrell. Dickie Duncan, KCDM News. Is there anything that you could tell us about how the burglars looked, what they looked like, anything like that? I'll never forget their faces. Miss Farrell, you can speak normally. <laughs> they wore masks. One was a mouse and one was Alex Trebek. Donut Officer Kluski. Kafka, no, thanks. <laughs> Lieutenant Kachka? Kafka. You see my dog? Uh, sorry, young lady, not yet. We'll do our best. Oh, roll, roll, roll. On her. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, the lovely, the talented Miss Julie Carlyle. Julie, can you tell us anything? Dickie, could you just leave us alone? Coffee, sir. Follow her, follow her. Morning, Excuse Lieutenant. Me, <laughs> Miss Farrell. When you were locked in the bathroom, did you hear anything? Did the burglars say anything that might have given them away? Well, one of them might have been a decorator. He kept saying, God, that's an ugly bed. An ugly bed? Well, there's our first clue. Let's take a look at that ugly bed, shall we? This way. Are you all right, Lieutenant Klusky? No. Hi. Stop oh. it, Smiley. We came as soon as we heard. Oh, I found these clothes at the studio for you. Oh, Joy, thank you. Charles. Oh. Boy, this place is really empty, barren, desolate, depressing. Well, thank you, Wooly. That's very comforting. <laughs> Hi, 
Tom. Tim. Mm. Oh, great. The fruitcake's here. <laughs> I only have a one-room apartment, Julie, with a tiny kitchen alcove and very little sunlight. But you, Sam, and all the kids are welcome to stay. Oh, Joy, that's very dear of you. I, I, I really don't think it will be necessary, do you? Oh, Julie, Julie, what an awful experience. Can I go see the bed? I've always wanted to touch the bed she sleeps in. Upstairs and to the left, Smiley. Boy, that is one ugly bed. <laughs> Dickie, where have you been? Uh, nowhere. What have you been doing? Nothing. Hi. Hi, Clem. Oh. Hi, Clem. Oh, they did take everything, didn't they? Everything but the bed. Ooh, that ugly thing. <laughs> Look, I brought you some clothes from the clinic and a couple of sleeping bags oh. until you get your friend. Thank you, dear. Any problems at the clinic? No, uh, but there's a young doe in my truck. I think she has mastitis. You want to take a look? Yeah, sure. Let me have you right back. Okay, okay. sweet. I was just thinking, Julie, you uh -huh. know how sometimes I get a little sensitive to vibes and things? Now, I thought if I could just walk through the house, I might be able to pick up some clues. Well, there's the man in charge, Captain Kishkas. <laughs> I've told you a hundred times, lady, I don't believe in your psychic mumbo-jumbo. Oh, excuse me, Lieutenant, this is my trusted assistant, Joy, and she does not use mumbo-jumbo. She's extremely talented. If you just open your head, she might be able to help you a little bit. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Julie. But it's something that just kind of comes and goes. Oh, like right now. Oh, all I can think of is cheese and jeopardy. Like I said, a fruitcake. I'll be in touch. Thank you, Lieutenant Cocker. 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 Cheese and jeopardy. Bernie said that one of the burglars wore a mouse mask, cheese, and the other one looked like Alex Trebek. Well, she's good. Isn't she? Oh, Joy, could you pick the Daily Double at the track? Oh, I never use my own gifts for my own personal gain. Well, what about my personal gain? I wouldn't even cut you in. Okay, here's what I need now. I need a nice group shot of all you people all grouped together. And, Julie, if you could just cry for me, just a couple of tears, that would be a beautiful moment. That's it. Everybody out. Out. We do thank you for coming, but... We understand. <laughs> Come on, all of you. Let's go and give these people some peace and quiet. Thanks, Joy. You know, if anything comes up, I'm there for you. I know. Bye. Goodbye, Sam. Thanks for the coffee. Ain't got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and funny, but we we'll travel along, singing a song side by side. <laughs> Can we all sleep down here tonight? Sure. Really? Why not? I spent half my life in this house. One night's gone. Darling, the other half of your life is still here. Oh, I know that. Believe me, I know. All right, let's go. We got dinner reservations at Long Hong Lo's. It's all you can eat squid night. Mm. <laughs> Darling, turn out the fire. Right. Last time we went out, we lost everything. Well, look at it this way. This time we've got nothing to lose. <laughs> But we travel along, singing a song, side by side. <laughs> oh. <sighs> mm. guys get in and out so fast. They're burglars. They should have been movers. I've heard of a house being burgled before, but I, I've never heard of a house being unburgled. This is crazy. Here in the Siouxland, crime is not our forte, okay? I'm gonna check the room. Oh, me too. Oh, yeah, yeah. But come on, why would they... I mean... Oh. Dolly? Oh. 
Right. It's still here. Oh, thank God. And everything's in it. The papers, the, the, the jewelry, my mom's handcuffs. Your mother had handcuffs? Yeah, I told you about her, didn't I? I'm going to go check our room. You know, she was in so often that that nice detective finally just gave him to her. You know, I just can't figure it out. Why would they bring everything back, then take the bed? No, nah, it's unbelievable. Well, you should be thrilled. They took the ugly bed. Well, I'm not thrilled. I promised it to Allie. It was going to put it in her room. My room? I never said I liked it. I just said my mother liked it. Your mother hated it. What? Your father dragged it home from an auction, and your mother didn't have the heart to tell him how ugly it was. Obviously, you did. Who's <laughs> faxing us this time, man? Dear folks, sorry we cleaned you out. It's from our burglars. We had a big problem unloading your stuff, what with the recession and all. But since the burglary made the news, we've had a lot of inquiries about your bed. They say it's a rare antique. A Hempelwhite. A Hempelwhite? <laughs> I'm David Brinkley. On our This Week program Sunday, Secretary of State James A. Baker. What about aid to Russia, American troops still in Europe, the Bush campaign, and more? We'll ask Sunday. Stay tuned for Perfect Strangers next. <laughs>